Hi everyone, this is Lovecrafty Girl. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a weekly spread in my mini recollections planner. This is officially going to be the first week of uh, winter or Christmas or however you want to see this because this is actually still November but we have two days uh, where December starts and I thought why not make this also a winter spread like I did with the other two pl planners. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Now as for principles, I didn't make anything for the winter one right now, but I do want to use things I have at home. So I'm thinking of using cardstock paper here, some stickers, and just go along and see what happens. So continue watching and see how I put this spread together. So I'm going to go ahead and start gluing down my little pieces of paper. Um, I like to put the glue directly on the page. Uh, one thing I noticed is that it's just much easier this way. You just quickly just go around it. You know where the glue is and you paste your little square down and you move on to the next one. Now I am not very thorough with the glue because um, you'll notice that some of the edges are lifting. But to me it doesn't really matter because I'm going to use washi tape to go all around the squares. And so that will keep everything down. Um, one more thing I also have to keep in mind is sometimes the glue sticks that I'm using don't always do a good job with time um, the page can itself will peel up so what I do is I even though the glue sticks are not that great at least I know that the washi tape will keep it in place so um, if that ever does happen where they all peel up I don't mind going back and fixing it but I know the washi tape does a really good job in keeping it so I'll be doing that but also this um, glue stick particularly I'm trying to get rid of because it's coming to the very end of it and I get to use my new one which you'll see right now for the last two squares it's the Tombow one that I talked about in one video that I really really like so um, I'm using that and I will be using it a lot more in the video but for now I'm just going to go ahead and finish up the squares and then do my washi tape So for the top part of the page, I'm going to go ahead and use this plaid washi tape. I wanted to keep it very simple at the top, but I still have a Christmas feel to it. Um, because the truth is, um, the washi tape I'm going to be using all around the squares is a gold glitter one. And I really wanted that to be more like a focus than to have like a nice... Um, like a decorative like a nice fancy wash at the top usually i like to use those but i wanted to keep it simple so that um that gold washi would stand out um so once i'm done with these um, placements of these plaid washi i'm going to go ahead and use my gold washi tape now this gold washi tape is terrible it is so so bad it doesn't stick and did you see how quickly that was for me to lift that up it had no stickiness to it as whatsoever so what i did off camera is i was uh, what i was doing here is i was placing my washi um one strip at a time and then i would actually pause and go back with the glue stick and go over like wherever the wash is going to be going i'm going to put a little bit of glue on that and stick it right down making sure it stays put um because this washi tape i knew was not going to stay i had a feeling that if i turned the page it was going to fall out um and i noticed sometimes the washi would curl up and so i knew i had to um keep this down so i ended up doing that off camera but i really like this washi tape it's such a sad thing that they didn't have enough stickiness to it but thank goodness for glue sticks because that is saving um, this washi tape from going in the garbage um, and making sure I can use it. So now my goal is to finish up this washi tape so I don't have to use it again. But um, overall though, I really like how this is coming out. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for all these squares. And then we're going to uh, add the days of the week to each square as well. And then I will be done.
Okay, so here's the final look to put together this spread. Let me just tell you how hard it's getting to actually plan in this planner. It is so thick and I'm having a difficult time trying to put the washi, but I'm making it work though. So I am not going to give up. I'm going to continue this, but it's a good learning curve too, because this is the first time I ever use a mini recollections planner. And I'm used to the other ones where you can take the page out, fix it, whatever you're going to do and put it back in. But to work with it already in the bind um, coil, like it's really hard. And so for next year, when I use the same planner, I'm going to make sure I don't use any puffy stickers. I'm going to try to keep it, um, not so bulky with the stuff that I want to add into the pages because this is what's happening right now. I'm having a hard time trying to keep it in place to show you guys. I think I would need like something here. I'm thinking maybe when I'm planning like to give it some lift or something. I don't know yet. I might have a book under here next time. So if you see like something coming out from the under, you'll know why. I need something like this where it's more on the flat surface kind of area. Easy for me to be able to plan in it. But overall, this is a great um, spread I put together. I love this. I'm going to be using white pen to write in all my stuff for this week and then for next week i'm gonna do another one using again cardstock and stickers because i'm actually liking this so i hope you guys enjoyed this don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys next time